Just talked to Chris and we should be just about there on our last revision. This is the map five, I believe. So uh, yeah, just kind of been going back and forth, um, doing a lot of third gear pulls. And then this last round, we did a second through fourth gear pull. And then this round, we're also going to do a second, fourth and a third gear and then send it over. And we're probably going to be good. The car feels insane. It feels so solid all the way through. So I'm really happy with the way that this is turning out. Out. And again, this is all just like the pump gas stuff. Super basic, 93 pump, probably sitting around 500 wheel. Feels fantastic, man. The car is just responding so good. So it's been a really effortless process. We've gotten the majority of the tuning done in the past two days and um, we're pretty much there. And so then once we go over to the E85, it's gonna be the same process. Map is flash in. Go ahead and kill the car and turn it on. I also coded out the adaptive headlight warning. Uh, figured out that's what it was that was on the dash before in the last video. And um, from what I understand, these cars, you get moisture in the headlights, which makes sense because this would happen every time I wash the car. You get moisture in the headlights and then the dash will throw the adaptive warning uh, malfunction. And you can actually just code it out. So I'll put all the coding instructions right here so you guys can easily code it out. But um, yeah, did that and we've been good ever since. So if you guys are having that issue, that's how you do it. Uh, let's see, back to monitor, here to log in, and we're good. So yeah, last time I checked, the 93 pump gas tune is around 20 PSI. We'll end up lifting that as soon as we get into the ethanol content. But um, yeah, that's solid, man. The car is fucking, the car is responding so good to this. All right, let's get on the road. do here will be a third gear what the fuck oh it's the bu that bus is smoking dude what is going on i'm just gonna cruise down dude that bus is smoking it blew some turbos you blew your turbos bruh all right do a little loop man that second gear to third gear whoo so I turned that, there's like a lag between, typically with the manual cars, there's a lag between shifting gears, like second gear, like a bog, but um, you can turn it off in MHD. And it's my first time driving this car without that bog, and it's incredible, man. The moment that you switch gears and you're in throttle, it's going. There's no like weird, goofy bog that these cars typically have. It is, man, it is so nice. It is so nice, especially because I'm so used to having that, um, that bog there. Oh, this is probably gonna be the last log that we need to do on pump. Um, we're gonna do one more here, I think. All right. is smoking so bad <laughs> dude, dude that thing is smoking um i think that'll do it man it's just uh it's so nice to be driving this car and putting this many logs in this many reps on it and knowing that everything is solid we don't have any leaks it's driving really really good it's allowing me to go through the gears with full throttle close to red line it's it's just a good feeling to know that Things are doing what they're supposed to be doing the proper way. And it seems pretty durable, like, you know. So I've just been going after it, putting in these in these ramps. Sounds so 
good. <laughs> Man, this car, this car has quickly become like one of my all time favorite builds. After doing the single turbo, it just took on, it took on like a whole different beast of a build man it's it's really become something so cool and fun and uh yeah dude i just i just freaking love it it's such a fun car man such a fun car so i took pulled the trigger on a couple of other things too for this car um that i've been kind of putting off um getting my brake situation figured out right now and then I got the Olins at home ready to go on. This, the coilovers in this car are rough, man. They are rough. They're the ST coilovers, which are like the the, the worst version coilovers made by KW. ST is made by KW, but it's like the worst version you can buy. So they're just like, oh, they're so they're su super super firm. Like shocks feel completely blown. It kind of just kills a lot of like the driving experience. But I have a new set of Olin's road and track coilovers going in this car. And then I have some brakes. Oh, dude, this car is gonna be crazy. The new wheels and everything. This thing is just gonna be so sick, dude. So sick. And then we get to convert the rear end to the M3 rear end and it's, man, yeah, it's, this is gonna be one for the books, guys. The one thing that I am trying to figure out, um, I am doing the metal, the rear metal quarter panels, and I'm trying to decide if I should just like pull the trigger and go for a carbon roof when we do the quarters. Cause like the, the glass already has to come out and I kind of feel like if you're gonna do it, that's the time to do it. Um, you know what I mean? So I don't know. I feel like if I don't do the carbon roof, I feel like if I don't do the carbon roof, uh, when I do the metal quarters, I'll probably like never do it. So I don't know, man, I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm just like leaning towards dude. Fuck it. This is like, you know, no expense spared type build. Like I just want to do it. I just kind of want to go all in and make it like a once in a lifetime type build. Cause I just love this car so much. And it's just turning out to be such a cool, cool car, cool, cool build. And, I'm kind of just like, fuck it, dude. Let's just do it. Like, let's just make this thing crazy. One thing I got to figure out is there are some structural things that you need to do when you do that. Um, so that will be, yeah, it's a whole learning process. So, anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed this little data logging shit. I'm about to go out and do a different video. But uh, I kind of wanted to, like, you know, vlog this experience because I think it's pretty cool. And it's a lot of fun to put the car through the paces. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.